Hello, everyone. Welcome to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host for today, Tabitha Moretto. Our guest today is Dr. Gina Levy, Senior Nutrition Manager of Kellogg's. Today, we're going to talk about recently commissioned research into grain fiber inadequacies and the cost to both health and economy, as well as Kellogg's Nutrition's new focus on gut microbiome and healthy, happy guts. This is her second appearance on the show. Without further ado, welcome back to the show, Gina. It's very nice to have you again. Thanks very much for having me. I'm so happy to be here. Yes, my pleasure. So, Gina, please tell the audience more about yourself and the nature of your work. Thank you. Well, as you already mentioned, I'm the Senior Nutrition Manager at Kellogg for Australia and New Zealand. I'm also a qualified dietitian, and I have a Bachelor of Science, a Bachelor of Nutrition and Dietetics, and a PhD in Biomedical Science. But I've always had an interest in nutrition and food manufacturing, especially in the way that health professionals can make a difference when it comes to influencing the food supply. So I guess that's a bit about me. You know, I work in Kellogg's helping to drive the business forward when it comes to product development, looking at nutrition trends. We stay in touch with changes in policy that will affect our business. And we also uh, examine the science in order to to see how our products can benefit the population. That's good to hear. I know that Kellogg's, you are big believers when it comes to grain fiber. So tell us, why is there this new obsession regarding fiber, especially in Australia? Well, for us, it's never been a new. We've always been obsessed with fiber. But fiber, you know, it's one of those essential nutrients that often gets forgotten because it's not a very sexy one. You know, everyone likes to always keep arguing about how much sugar, how much fat, how much protein we should have. But nobody really talks about fiber. And the fact that it's so highly protective in disease risk is something we need to focus on much more than we already have. And You know, we're always talking about I quit this and I quit that, but I think we should focus on I eat fiber. Recent research that we did, because we actually found that the fiber um, intakes of Australians actually hadn't been examined in depth as part of the Australian Health Survey. So what we did was we commissioned some research to have a look at what's going on with fiber intakes in Australians. And we found some terrible statistics. We found that two out of three Australian adults are not meeting the adequate intake of fiber. And what's even worse is one in two children. The group with the lowest fiber intakes was adolescents, 14 to 18 years. And you think about all the growing that they're doing as well as, you know, all the benefits that they're missing out on when it comes to fiber, especially from what we're learning at the moment about the role of fiber in feeding a healthy gut microbiome which, you know, could possibly uh, have um, impacts on mood, stress and immunity, you think about, you know, what our adolescent population are actually missing out on as well as our kids. The other group that we actually found that were a little bit worse off were males compared to females. And then, of course, there was the real disparity between rich and poor. We found that higher socioeconomic groups were eating significantly more fiber than those in the lower socioeconomic groups. And for my team and myself, this was specific interest to us because, you know, as dietitians, we want everyone to have the access to an equally good quality of life. And so, you know, with higher rates of chronic disease in the poor, there's definitely an opportunity for us to help with our foods, which are pretty cost effective value-adding foods that people can eat at breakfast. And then we also went and had a look at all the epidemiological studies, and we know that the reduction in disease risk from fiber is significant. And one of the things that stood out to us was that it's actually grain fiber that's one of the most effective fibers for reducing the combined risk of type 2 diabetes and cardiovascular disease. But what we also found was that Four out of five Australian adults are not eating enough fiber to reduce their risk of chronic disease. And this was just staggering to us, you know, especially those diseases like cardiovascular disease and type 2 diabetes. 
And, you know, when we look at the entire environment of what's happening, we know that at the moment, if you, carbohydrate isn't the most favorite nutrient. And some recent research by the Grains and Legumes Nutrition Council also showed that one in two, almost one in two Australians are deliberately limiting grains in their diet. And so, you know, with grains being the number one source of fiber, it's only just imaginable what's happening to our fiber intake. So we need to get on top of it. And, you know, from our perspective, we wanted to talk to you guys because as health professionals, when we're talking to patients about increasing fiber intake, we need to talk about the balance of fibers because there's so many different types of fibers and they all have different functions. And so we need to talk about a balance of fibers. So fiber doesn't only come from increasing your fruit and vegetables, but the other things we need to suggest are healthy grain or high fiber grain foods, nuts and seeds and legumes. And we would love that to become an almost natural recommendation for our GP or doctor colleagues, practice nurses, and our dietitian friends to make in consultation. Yes, those are indeed very shocking statistics that you have, that Australians are not eating enough fiber. So this Mm -hmm. proves that we have to promote this to the people out there to make sure that they're getting enough fiber in their diet. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, Gina, let's talk about misconceptions. What is the biggest misconception your clients, users, or the public has about you or about this topic that drives you nuts and it keeps you up at night? (laughs) Well, when we talk about misinformation, I mean, the only thing that really keeps me up at night is a binging on Netflix. But in all seriousness, there's a lot of misconceptions out there about what happens with nutrient intakes in our actual population. And so, you know, from our perspective, we actually decided that we were going to commission some research through Deloitte Access Economics and Nutrition Research Australia, where we investigate how, what the impact would be, what the fiscal impact would be is if Australians actually got up to their adequate intakes or the uh, intake to reduce chronic disease. So we had a look at if we supplement the gap between what Australians are eating now and Australians are actually eating once they eat, uh, supplement that gap with a bit of grain fiber, we actually found some staggering results. We found that every Australian just adds one single serving of high fiber grain food every day. We could potentially prevent 64,000 cases of cardiovascular disease and 126,000 cases of type 2 diabetes and save the health economy about $1.5 billion in healthcare expenditure and lost productivity. And that's only with one serving of high fiber grain food. If we actually added two serves, the results actually even double and we could save more than $3.3 billion a year in healthcare costs and lost productivity. And so, you know, combined with our work in examining fiber intakes, we, we really have a good picture of what the current situation is and how people can actually benefit from some small dietary changes. And the, the Minister of Health, Dr. David Gillespie, actually agreed with us and helped us to get this message out there to the media and to consumers because we really do believe that this is a small substitutional dietary change that people can make for great positive effects. And so, you know, when we talk about misconceptions, it's not about adding more and more carbohydrate to the day. It's about substituting low fiber carbohydrate foods for high fiber or whole grain foods. And then we'll really, really see um, the difference that will make to our population. Excellent. Thank you for sharing this information with us. Not a problem. And just to let you know that we've um, actually developed a fantastic fiber kit that for GPs, dietitians, and practice nurses that they can download from our health professional website. So, you know, go on and download or contact us and we'll send you a free complimentary kit. Yes. Speaking of uh, your website, can you tell the audience, how can they get this kit? All right. On our website, we have a specific healthcare professional website. It's www.kelloghealthprofessional.com.au. 
On there, you'll see a tab called Resources. You can go onto there and download the kit. Or alternatively, there's a Contact Us button. You can contact us and we will send a kit out immediately with our compliments to your practice. Fantastic. Okay, Gina, before we go, what is your main takeaway message to all of our listeners out there? So I think as health professionals, our main takeaway message from the work that we've done is to focus on the balance of fibers when talking to patients about fiber because fiber comes from so many different sources with so many different functions. And, you know, we're doing research at the moment, which is looking at the gut microbiome. And this is an exploding and fascinating area. And fiber plays a key role because fiber is the prebiotic that actually feeds the good gut bacteria. And so it's, fiber serves so many roles in the human body. So when we actually talk to patients about fiber, Talk to them about increasing their fruit and veg intake, but also talk to them about increasing their whole grain and high fiber cereal intake, as well as their nuts, seeds, and legume intake. And then we'll get an all around balance of fibers into their diet. That was a wonderful message. Wow, I actually feel hungry now <laughs> with you mentioning <laughs> all that food. Thank you so much, Gina, for coming on the show. Thanks for having me. And that was Dr. Gina Levy, Senior Nutrition Manager of Kellogg's. We've just been talking about the benefits of grain fiber, gut microbiome, and how to have good gut health. If you like this interview, transcripts and archives are available at www.hpr.fm. We're on all social media platforms, so don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe. Show us some love by subscribing to our HPR YouTube channel. We're also available for download on SoundCloud and iTunes. I'm Tabitha Moretto, and you're listening to Health Professional Radio.